So Primogen recently did a video on the Rust Water Checker. Love Rust, love the video, love Primogen, definitely go check it out. But there is one thing that I want to point out that Primogen probably knows but the audience might not and that is a feature of TypeScript that can make the TypeScript code a bit safer. So let's take a look. So here's the code sample from Primogen. We have a shade value which we initialize to zero and each new instance of this class foo will get an incrementing value. We have a function that is designed to reverse an input array of foos and then print those individual values out. Now on first look, everything within this code looks on the up and up, but when we test it with a vector containing three foos, so the first foo is zero, the second is one, and the third is two, and we invoke reverse and print, we expect to get 210, which is perfectly fine, but when we invoke it again, we actually get 012. This is because the first time reverse and print runs, it actually mutates the input array. And this mutation of arrays is definitely a problem. Even though you and I might know the right way to do this within JavaScript, we might still miss it within a code review. Let's see what Primogen has to say. Now, for those that are very experienced, they already know all these rules. Okay, sorts in place, reverses in place, uh, map and filter are copies, right? You like know these things intrinsically, but for all the people that are new, they don't know this. Now, if this was just JavaScript, we would be out of luck, but this is TypeScript and there is a simple way to catch silly mistakes like this. Instead of taking just a simple array of foos, we can actually take a read-only array of foos. And now we will not be able to mutate the array foos at least by some simple silly mistakes and you can see that the reverse function is now highlighted as an error. And we can fix it quite easily by creating a clone of the array before invoking the mutating reverse function. And now when we run the code again, we get a more reliable output from reverse and print where it is consistent 210, 210. So the question is, is TypeScript as safe as Rust? No, to learn more, watch Primogen's video, but is it better than JavaScript? Yeah, uh, I, I don't swear. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.